Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about shoulder pain after stroke. As you all aware, stroke is a common problem that leads to disability in a reduced mobility of hand and leg. Because of this issue, these patients fairly uh, commonly under I have uh, shoulder pain. This problem usually starts with uh, decreased mobility of the shoulder. After which they, the shoulder undergoes several changes, which includes additions within uh, the shoulder joint. This leads to a lot of shoulder pain and disability. So this problem is actually overlooked. As we are able to save more and more uh, lives of stroke patients, we are fairly likely to encounter more of these patients. Uh, and uh, as you all are aware, um, this is a fairly under, uh, overlooked problem and it contributes to quite uh, quite amount of disability. And uh, here I am to tell you what we can do to make uh, the quality of life of these patients with the shoulder pain after stroke better. So most of the time these patients have shoulder pain because of additions within the shoulder capsule. And they also can undergo some entrapment syndrome of the suprascapular nerve which occurs because of decreased uh, loss of tone and increased tone of various muscle groups around the shoulder because of stroke. So suprascapular entrapment syndrome is also one of the com one of the uh, one of the uh, underlying causes of shoulder pain after these uh, for these patients. And now importantly, how do we treat? The first important thing is we need to acknowledge this problem that this problem can arise. Uh, so we should be very aware. We should increase the awareness of uh, shoulder disability after stroke. So early mobilization as soon as the patient develops stroke. Uh, along with uh, various measures to save their lives, uh, uh, early mobilization of the shoulder joint needs to be done. Otherwise, it goes into some sort of uh, additions and it's very difficult to treat these patients. Uh, so, prevention is always better than cure, right? So, first thing we should make every effort to prevent them. And in case these patients after they are discharged uh, from the hospitals come back to us on an outpatient basis with shoulder pain, or patients who have been treated elsewhere who comes to us on an outpatient basis, there are several things that we can do. Several of these patients will be uh, will get better with physiotherapy and some muscle relaxants and painkillers. So we can advise them short course of painkillers along with muscle relaxant and aggressive course of physiotherapy. Most of the time this should suffice. Uh, however, there are a fair number of patients who don't get benefited by this uh, treatment. For these, there are several options. Here we have a fair uh, vast of uh, experience uh, at American Brain Enhancement because we see so many of these stroke patients every day. So what we can do is we can do what we call as a shoulder block. So we can inject uh, the shoulder joint and the various nerves that um, that uh, innervate the shoulder joint. Suprascapular nerve is an important nerve that uh, supplies the shoulder joint. So by uh, by nerve blocks, patient get a lot of good pain relief and uh, because of which uh, they are able to tolerate uh, mobility, so they are able to um, uh, lift their hands and participate in physiotherapy. Otherwise, they don't participate in physiotherapy because of uh, the pain, they just don't allow the physiotherapist to touch their shoulder. So with these nerve blocks, they get um, good relief and then they aggressively participate in the shoulder mobilization. Sometimes even nerve block doesn't uh, work because the shoulder has gone into such uh, strong additions that um, that uh, the pain continues to be there despite the nerve block. For this uh, recalcitrant uh, shoulder pain, we try what we call as shoulder manipulation under general anesthesia. So either we give a, a scalenous block uh, under local anesthesia and um, and then uh, manipulate the shoulder uh, vigorously to break up all these. Uh, uh, all these uh, additions that are formed within the shoulder joint. So, uh, since these patients are commonly on uh, antiplatelet agents and if you don't want to uh, stop them um, uh, for this uh, scalenous block, we we can even uh, try general anesthesia, short course of ketamine or some general anesthesia for 2-3 minutes and we can do this shoulder manipulation and uh, this shoulder manipulation is an excellent uh, outcome. Most of the patients are very happy with the pain outcome 
and um, uh, and uh, it helps in uh, their rehabilitation going back to the work so in this short video i hope uh, i have highlighted the importance of acknowledging the shoulder pain uh, aggressively mobilizing the shoulder joint to prevent uh, future problems and the different treatment modalities that are, that are available for such patients if the shoulder pain occurs after stroke thank you for watching this video